Hi friends, today I am going to share with you all my dishwasher story that is my YouTube journey. It all began four years ago when I uploaded my first dishwasher demo video and today I can proudly say that I have uploaded 15 videos on dishwashers alone on different topics all because of uh, viewers like you who have been supporting me with your love, encouragement and uh, your various comments and queries. Yeah, probably Mine would have been the first uh, dishwasher demo video in our country. Thanks to you all. You must be wondering why I am telling this. Uh, it's because whenever I thought I have come to the end of making dishwasher videos, some new queries, new comments, doubts from my viewers and I end up making new videos, answering their queries and thus I have reached uh, 15 videos till now. In this video also I am going to discuss some topic on dishwasher most important topic viewers of late they have been telling that they get uh, white uh, stains or patches on their uh, washed dishes after the wash cycle is completed much of the cleaning depends on the quality of your water uh, even before you buy a dishwasher it's better to get your water tested if your water is uh, soft your cleaning is going to be that good so like one of my viewer Ankit Yadav shared his experience even before buying his dishwasher I think he has done a lot of research and he shared with me that the water hardness of any locality changes within a radius of two kilometers Ankit if you are watching the video a big thanks to you there is something called TDS TDS is nothing but the total dissolved solids that has got uh, many other things other than calcium and magnesium hardness is nothing but uh, calcium and magnesium salts present in water and that aspect is very important in uh, the water quality which uh, helps in uh, the cleaning the dishes especially uh, by a dishwasher so you get your uh, water tested in a laboratory preferably for hardness so once you know that you will know exactly how good your cleaning will be because there is special salt for dishwasher and there is a water softening system which will do the softening with the help of the salt the water will be softened so in this video I'm going to show how you can uh, adjust the salt setting uh, for getting better results the right quantity of salt will give you a good cleaning if you already got a dishwasher you'll have a manual and your manual will show the various uh, hardness levels like uh, soft to uh, medium hard to hard and uh, hardness is measured in uh, milligrams per liter or degree clark or uh, parts per million the link for converting that is a from one unit to another I've given in the description below and also I've shared the table that is uh, mine is a Bosch machine so I have given the table for that that is uh, the hardness levels and their units if you've got a different machine you can check with your manual and uh, accordingly do your uh, adjustment as you can see this is the water hardness table and it is it, it gives a water hardness value in Clark degree Clark this is the hardness range it is soft to medium to hard and uh, the unit in uh, millimoles per liter and the corresponding uh, value you have to set in the machine that is the H is for hardness uh, can be set from 0 to 7 and H0 means uh, zero consumption of uh, salt that is no salt is required because the water will be very soft and the reading being between 0 to 8 Clark once it goes uh, it's above 9 9 and above degree Clark or the equivalent uh, in, uh, in different units then you need salt so the setting has to be from 1 to 7 depending on the hardness and for the maximum hardness that is up to 62 62 degree Clark you, the salt has to be set at uh, 7 H7 H7 means maximum consumption of, uh, consumption of salt So in this video I am going to show how to adjust uh, salt. I press the start uh, the on off button. Once the on off button is uh, pressed, that is the power on, I hold the, in my machine it is echo button. The, hold it and press the start button. Now the display shows H04. H is for hardness and 04 here is a factory setting. Factory setting is H04. So it is uh, H04. Now when I want to change this, I have to press this button. Here it is a quick wash program button. So I keep pressing that. Each time I press, it increases by one level. Now it's become H5, H6, H7. H7 is the maximum. 
level of hardness. Uh, so after this, it will go back to zero. If I press again, it goes back to zero. H zero zero. That is, there is no salt will be taken. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero, one. I in my machine I kept hardness in uh, one, so I want to fix in this. So I press the start button. Once I st press the start button, the hardness is set at one. One more important aspect is if you want to avoid this problem, is uh, uh, by using rinse aid. Rinse aid is also important because rinse aid does the job of not only giving you a drier dishes, but also it uh, helps in. Uh, uh, avoiding water droplets sticking on the dishes because it uh, increases the surface area of the water and uh, it spreads it and uh, thus uh, sees that water doesn't stick to the surface and it dries the dishes. So rinse aid is also important and there is a setting for rinse aid as well so I will be showing both the salt and the rinse aid setting uh, in my machine that is Bosch. If you have different uh, uh, machine or uh, different brand you can uh, check with your manual. Uh, many of you have been asking me about rinse aid usage. You are apprehensive about using rinse aid. Like you have asked whether vinegar can be used instead of rinse aid. Uh, for that, I'll just say one thing that uh, I've been sincerely following the use of uh, rinse aid in all these years, and I don't find anything wrong or any harm in that. I'm happy with it. But you can go ahead and uh, use vinegar if you want, and you are comfortable with it because it is uh, after all acetic acid and it is harmless so you can do that and if you are getting good results you can continue using that one more of my viewer Yashoda she has written a uh, detailed mail about her uh, uh, problem of this white film on, uh, on her dishes and how she researched and uh, tried to solve her problem she has also mentioned that she has tried lemon salt and which she adds in the end of the cycle and she has found good results, uh, good cleaning results and she has solved the problem of these uh, stains. So I can share her experience with you guys if you have any specific problem. Thank you Ashoda for, your, for sharing your experience with me. It's uh, people like you who are helping me uh, help others by, uh, by sharing your experience and uh, giving solutions to other people who have similar problems. Thanks to you all for that. Uh, rinse aid can be set from R0 to R6, there are 7 levels and I will show how to set that. So switch on the power and holding on this button, here in this case echo, press the start button. You get the hardness first, then press once again, you press it till you get R, so now you got R and the factory setting is R05. But you don't have to keep that depending, this also depends on your uh, hardness of your water. If your water is soft, you don't have to keep at R5. So then how to adjust this? Again, you press this uh, eco program, this button. It goes to 6, 6 is the maximum. Again, it comes back to 0. So you go, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, back to 0. Uh, again, this rinse aid setting in my machine I keep it at 1 only so I have set this and how to set this, how to lock this by pressing the start button so now it is set, as R, set at R1 I hope you all uh, uh, find this video useful and uh, I would like to hear from you all and I would like to know if you have any other specific problem which I can cover by way of my videos and uh, keep watching the videos and keep supporting me and uh, keep giving you giving your feedback so that I can make more such uh, useful videos uh, because my main aim is to help you all guys I want everyone to be uh, happily doing their dishwashing with, a, with this wonderful machine uh, the dishwasher which is a boon to all of us and uh, so uh, please support me like this always thanks for watching the video thank you